like usual, I spent my entire Saturday night inside, uh, grinding for something completely fucking useless, and, uh, here it is. I now have a Damascus crossbow. Why? I-I honestly don't know why. I had a couple days ago when I made a video talking about uh, how they added the crossbow to the game about four days ago or some shit like that. I ended up mentioning even before that about how this game lacks challenges and all of this other stuff. So I ended up seeing a top comment that said something along the lines of Jeff complains about not having any challenges in the game left for him to do after he grinded the ever living shit out of it. They finally come out with some challenges with some new content and then he goes out and complains about that challenge and then goes and just buys it anyway. Now, that sounds nice in context until you realize you're not the person doing that challenge and realize how stupid, tedious, and terrible that challenge was. And anybody that went for that challenge can vouch. Doing those 25 matches, not a single person on planet Earth had fun doing that. And then at the end of it all, they ended up getting rewarded probably the worst weapon in the fucking game. So excuse me for being a little realistic here, but the challenge is dog shit. I'm allowed to complain about it. I'm complaining about the lack of shit to do, not just challenges, but that challenge also sucks ass. Asshole. Watch your mouth. It's real easy to sit back, cross your arms, and just be like, yeah, well, <laughs> there's a lot of variables in between that hypocrisy. I would have went for that challenge, which I did, and I went even further and completed the challenge of Damascus on that gun. But talk to me about challenges again. I don't ever want to see another challenge in my fucking life. Yeah, challenge? I Oh, I love you too. Now I can finally start sniping again, though. Uh, pass all that. I have it like the most quick scopey version of it at the moment with the TAC laser, carbon elite arms, or whatever the fuck they are. Probably recording a video right now. I am. Last night I had to do all those challenges with the crossbow. I've been working on it for like two days at this point. Given I, it wasn't full blown working on it for two days, I've actually been playing. Uh, what, I don't know if you guys have heard of it, but I've been playing Temtem. Temtem is like it's basically like Pokemon without a lot of the issues that Pokemon has had recently. And I'm not claiming to know a whole bunch of shit about Pokemon or even talk shit about Pokemon or anything like that. I'm just saying like that's the general consensus of what this game is. It is Pokemon if they did better basically. But yeah here's the uh crossbow. It looks pretty nice honestly. It's not bad looking. I fuck with it. It's not bad looking but it is bad. Did you get Damascus on your crossbow already? <laughs> yep. I I'm shooting that. Like I'm trying to lead the shot but holy fuck man. Dude camped his shit off for a uh, chopper gunner. I'm dipping. I'm not even gonna bother. I know my teammates aren't gonna bother shooting it down, and I know I ain't doing it, so. We're all in agreement here. Let's back out. All right, let's back out. See ya. It's not even about not wanting to deal with the player. It's just not wanting to deal with the kill streak. I mean, half the time, anybody calling in their chopper gunners are complete dog shit anyway. That's what I just call everybody at this point dog shit. Everyone's dog shit, including me. Everyone's dog shit. But I love it all at the same time. This is terrible. It's like MW2 all over again. Maybe when I look back on this game five, six years later with my nostalgia glasses, maybe I'll be saying that this game didn't have as many issues as it actually has. There's a lot of stupid little issues with this game, but mechanically, I genuinely, I, I keep saying it, but mechanically, I genuinely hope Call of Duty, the way that this game feels, I hope it's kind of replicated in the following Call of Duties. It likely won't be, though. That's kind of the case for a lot of them, especially moving over to a Treyarch game. We all know that Treyarch games usually don't feel very uh, smooth and fluid and shit like that. They always kind of have like this uh, clunkiness about them. Usually the recoil is crazy overtuned. Uh, aim assist is very weak and low. This game is kind of the opposite. Super smooth, snappy, target to target, aim assist is crazy. Yeah, man, sure. Managing to get one burst by a FAMAS at that distance, doubt it. That shit is the most inconsistent weapon I've ever seen in a game. God, this thing sucks. I'm shooting him, like actually shooting him. See how long it takes the bolt to get there? I'm used to having like the super high tension cables and shit like that just for like crazy bolt velocity, but this shit is- I don't know, you can quick scope pretty quickly with this thing. It's just that the bolt is so slow that it just- It's nowhere even close to actually trying to snipe with it. Oh, I get the advance and fucking die to some random Timmy that's just not even paying attention. I mean, holy fuck, man. I'm so sad about it. The MP5 has got to be the sweatiest shit I've used, man. Ugh. Get fucked. You deserve this. Look how long it took for that shit to hit him. 
right, I'm hopping over to the AX-50 now. I'm done with that crossbow shit. It's, oh, I'm done with it. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's the Damascus crossbow if you wanted to see one. Uh, there it is. Oh, it does go over that whole scope, though, if I continue using uh, this aim op reflex sight. I've been using this one, the Range Master. Yeah, it doesn't look much different. Uh, that's usually the case with a lot of this shit, but. Yeah, so I'm repping the Atlanta phase shit now. I watched, like, all of them. Of course. Of course it hits me. Of course. Of course it hits me. I had four other people near me in the same open area, and they hit me alone. Two of them were close to each other. What kind of stupid fucking design is this range falloff damage on this game? They're looking strong. Like, I haven't watched, like, competitive COD in a while, but they fucking... They 3 0 whoever they played. I forget who they played, but they 3 0 them, like, swiftly. The hard point, I think, was, was kind of close to a degree, but past that, crushed them in S&D and shit. Oh, man. There's always somebody on that head glitch now, I've noticed. Did somebody make a video about that spot or some shit? Shit. Like, I constantly see people in that window behind the cover inside of the room staring out of the window. And they sit there like this, over that wall. Look at him. Like, come on. Come here, pussy. Ah! Ah! No, everybody, the hype matchup at this point is going to be Huntsman versus uh, FaZe for sure. Because Huntsman looked pretty strong too, so I, I want to see how that matchup goes when they actually get into a, a game or whatever. I don't think they're going to get matched up for a while, but... I, it still looks good. And everybody knows the MP5 and the M4 are still the most disgusting weapons. Honestly, probably just the MP5 is probably the best gun in the game at this point. The M4 is still good, obviously. Not calling it bad in any way, shape, or form. But just, like, from the gameplay that I saw for a lot of the maps anyway, it, it seems like most of, if not everybody, was running that MP5. People always ask what the fuck I'm looking at. There's a screen over here. There's a screen over here. There's, you know, okay. I'm just always, like, looking at shit. I'm just relaxing half the time whenever I'm doing this. I just play and I just, you know, put the video together and whatever I say is in the video now. So it's so nice to actually fire a weapon that doesn't feel like it has crazy drop anymore. You guys can have it. I'm, I'm not going to sit here and keep running into a buzzsaw. I get like real fucking petty at this point. I will literally sit in a spot for like a full minute and a half just for them to come to me so I can get the kill on them. I don't care. I have been just cheesed so many times that my pettiness has just gone through the fucking roof at this point. <laughs> And if my character didn't shut the fuck up, this guy wouldn't know I'm behind him. The issue with me running around with that crossbow is that I used my MP5 extensively. And I'm pretty sure my KD has gone up a few points since I've done that. And yeah, now I'm getting into every single match I get into. It's just everybody's like trying their asses off at their CDL. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm just going to spend the rest of the day probably just using the X50, probably playing some Temtem and shit. And uh... Yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't know what it is about Shoot House, but Shoot House makes Damascus look wild. It looks so good on this map. This guy keeps coming back for them revenge kills. He really wants me. This Temtem shit is reminding me of uh, when I played uh, Pokemon Revolution or Pro or whatever. That was super bad too, because there was like a chat on there and like it's so many people started trying and playing the game when I mentioned it and the whole chat was just filled up with a whole mess of people just spamming the chat, asking for shit, pissing so many people off. Obviously that wasn't my intention. I just, you know, let people know that that, that was the game I was playing and that's what happened. In this game, I, I think there is a chat, but I don't think it's activated yet because it's in like early early alpha access or some shit like look how good this thing looks holy fuck the thing that those games have in common though it's pretty challenging it's kind of difficult i'm actually very very happy i don't play this game fucking competitively because i would lose my mind with some of these spawns some of these spawns are like the most fucking disgusting most i i just i can't even believe it yeah just like you did on all the regular pokemon games usually it's not that big of a challenge like there's nothing really that crazy or over the top about a lot of the challenges like sometimes you'll have some gym leaders and stuff that beat the shit out of you because they got a certain type and all this other stuff but everybody knows usually getting all the badges most people will play through an entire game of pokemon just you know get all their badges beat the elite four and, and whatever other goal is left in the game Everybody can do that. Most people do that. On this game, if you don't really think it out and you go into fights with like half beat the fuck up Temtem and shit like that, like it's going to be bad. You're going to lose. These guys are spawning right in front of me. They were literally spawning right in front of me. I knew that what was going to happen are my teammates capping A. I threw the laser thing over on B. So I knew that they would have to spawn there. Ugh, that's so gross. This game is... We all made a career as snipers and montage makers. And I mean, even bros and shit. You make a whole career off of learning spawns and spawn trapping and figuring out how to basically pin an entire group of players down. Or you're able to just be in better positions than them. So every single fight that they take 
think is an uphill battle. I get that. But that, it just, it feels so abusable. Man, if I ran a full six in Dom or a full six in whatever other game modes and shit like that with players that actually took the time to study this shit, I'm pretty sure you can get near every single map to like a gross spawn trap area, the holding thing. It's gross. Also, the monolithic seems to do a little bit better than the choke does on this sawed off, at least in my experience, and for ranged kills and shit like that anyway. Yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go play Temtem.